truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the second episode in the White Collar Players Immersive Mod Series for Fallout New Vegas. We are thrilled to have you all here today, and we are sure you will enjoy the selection we have waiting for you. Today's showcase includes tools to help prevent crashing as well as drivable vehicles. Thank you all so much for joining us, and without further ado, please sit back, relax, and we hope you enjoy the show. Fallout New Vegas is beloved by Fallout fans for many reasons. However, as the years go on, the game has not exactly aged well. Modern hardware conflicts with the older version of the creation engine, which results in frequent crashes even on state-of-the-art high-end computers. New Vegas Anti-Crash by Q attempts to reduce the number of crashes users experience. A must-have mod for playing Obsidian's famous title in the modern day, this New Vegas Script Extender plugin installs simply with Nexus Mod Manager. NVAC prevents certain game crashes by more gracefully managing unhandled exceptions. While this mod certainly does not claim to be a cure-all for crashing, we can practically guarantee a noticeable decrease in soft or hard crashes while playing. As an added bonus, New Vegas Anti-Crash also might provide some slight performance improvements due to its optimization of certain functions and processes. An absolutely fantastic mod by Q, we strongly recommend NVAC if you're planning on starting a new playthrough anytime soon. Regardless of when you played Fallout New Vegas, or what platform you played on, you might have noticed some graphical jumps, especially when moving around the landscape quickly. Much like a vinyl record skipping occasionally, these game hiccups can quickly become a huge nuisance. These stutters are exactly what the mod New Vegas Stutter Remover seeks to correct. Created by Skyranger 1, NVSR, which requires a script extender, introduces a few changes designed to enhance game stability. One important change to mention is that the stutter remover intentionally limits frame rate. The predefined limit can be adjusted by editing the sr underscore new underscore vegas underscore stutter underscore remover dot ini file found under data nvse plugins. This line to change is under the fps management section. Look for f maximum fps. We recommend setting this to 60 for smooth gameplay. Excellent work by Skyranger, we are truly grateful for this mod and the much more pleasing to the eyes gameplay experience it provides. Any Mojave explorer worth their salt will tell stories of magical, invisible force fields that block their path into the mountains or certain areas of a ruin. Invisible Wall Remover by Urbex and Tuna is a Fish attempts to remove only the most problematic of these barriers. For example, invisible walls that block access to an area for no apparent reason are removed. However, those that prevent the player from falling through the map or passing through solid structures are still in place. The authors recommend to load IWR relatively early so that any landscape editing mods will not conflict with IWR's changes. A fantastic mod for any Wasteland Explorer Invisible Wall Remover is an excellent bit of work from these two authors that comes highly recommended by perhaps one of the most impressive mods in this entire series. Of all of the 3D Fallout games to date, none other so strongly evokes the desire for a faster mode of immersive transportation like Fallout New Vegas. It is hard to imagine a better drivable vehicle experience in Fallout than what XRE Cars by Ermeso provides. Once you make the drive from the Mojave Outpost to Novak in one of Hermeso's many different drivable vehicles, you'll wonder how you ever did it otherwise. The driving controls are fully customizable, and given the bombed out state of the landscape, the cars drive incredibly smoothly. With incredible sound effects, functional headlights, and passenger space for companions, driving around the wasteland has never seemed more immersive. These vehicles also provide bonuses as well, such as differently sized trunk spaces for additional storage, and different levels of radiation shielding depending on the vehicle. To balance out these benefits, these cars also require you to purchase keys that vary in price depending on the quality. They also require refueling and can be damaged by collisions or attacks from enemies even to the point where they detonate and are lost completely. 
Refueling and repairing can be performed by the wonderfully designed automated Rex repair stations scattered around the wasteland along the roadways. New vehicles can be purchased either from various individuals in the Mojave or from Rex at the dealership, who offers additional services like retrieving cars and importing vehicles. He also sells additional fuel cans for keeping your car moving when a service station isn't nearby. When you first load your game after installing XRE, you'll get a pop-up message that welcomes and introduces you to the mod. Here are a few quick helpful starting tips. When buying a key, the number on the key corresponds to the number on the vehicle's license plate, so be sure to look at the license plate of the car you want before making a purchase. Once inside a vehicle, you can press asterisks at any time to open the menu and adjust the various settings of XRE, including the controls for all of the vehicle functions. In order to access the trunk and other additional vehicle options, simply hold E while examining the vehicle instead of just pressing it to activate. After holding a brief moment, a new menu will pop up with options for the trunk, refueling, and torching the car. Fortunately, XRE is not too load order dependent. However, we highly recommend you load it pretty late in your load order, especially after the previous mods mentioned in this episode. Look at your pals, huh? Look at your buddies. Hey, where's your mask? What kind of amateur robs the store and forgets to put on his mask? Oh, uh, well, in that case, feel free to browse my goods and uh, consider me at your service.
The current version of XRE, version 0.86, requires that you first install the 0.85 file and then install the 0.86 update, which means two files to get from the mod page, which are clearly shown in the files tab. Just to be clear, if I see you pull out a gun here, I'll turn your head to a spray can. Truly a masterpiece of a mod by Armeso, we are incredibly grateful to this talented author and XRE Cars for providing a much more fun and immersive exploration experience in the Mojave. Before concluding this particular showcase, we would like to mention our perspective and reasoning for including this in the immersive mod series, as some people may question the lore friendliness of drivable cars. While the mod does state that the cars are running on fuel or petrol, we prefer to interpret this as nuclear material fuel to keep in line with the lore of atomic powered cars. Similarly, with all of the brilliant mechanics, tinkerers, and robot repairmen that inhabit the Mojave, and all of the nearly fully intact cars that are scattered about, it is hard to believe that an enterprising individual would not have figured out how to restore them to working condition. Furthermore, 200 years after the Great War seems like ample time for this same enterprising individual to form a profession around selling and distributing vehicles in the various service stations for them. But we would love to hear your thoughts on the lore friendliness of drivable cars. Are they a plausible concept to you, or does their presence in the wasteland ruin the atmosphere? Thank you all so much for joining us today. That concludes our show, and we sincerely hope you found something to add to your game. Please remember to leave an endorsement for any mod that you download and enjoy. These authors put a lot of time into these works, so giving them some recognition is the least you can do. If you enjoyed our show today, please consider subscribing so you won't miss future episodes and more fantastic mods. All of the items we show in this series are being added to our personal load order and undergo rigorous testing to ensure compatibility and a more immersive gameplay experience. Thank you all so much again for watching, and we hope you'll join the white collar players again soon when we look at some more immersive mods for Fallout 4.